British Gas, proud sponsors of the British swimming teams. Hello everyone, I'm Lisa Leyland. I'm here for the British Gas Swimming Championships 2011. The highlights of the final session tonight, undoubtedly the women's 800. Becky Adlington, the winner already in the two and the four, like last year, going for three in a row. The double Olympic and Commonwealth champion will be racing Kerry Ann Payne, the winner in the 1500. The Olympic silver medalist over 10K in the open water and the world champion is having a terrific week. So is Jazz Carling, silver behind Adlington in the two and the four. It's all set for a great race in the women's 800. Staying with the women, the 200 backstroke sees Lizzie Simmons and Gemma Spofforth once again going head to head. Simmons, the European champion in the 200 backstroke, has not yet qualified for Shanghai. The qualifying time for the winner, 2.12.73. The runner up will be chasing a time of 2.10.84. Spofforth will run her a close race. The silver medalist in the European Championships, the world champion over 100, Simmons and Spofforth doing battle in the women's 200 backstroke. On the men's side, the 100 fly sees the winner of the 200, Michael Rock, against the silver medalist in the 50, Anthony James. James, remember, won silver at the Commonwealth Games, but Michael Rock is the man in form. Bragging rights up for grab in the men's 50 freestyle. Who's the fastest man of the championships this week? Adam Brown looking for a second goal. He's the fastest qualifier. And Simon Burnett will want to finish his week on a high. He's second fastest into the final. Underway now, keep your eyes on three, four and five. We've got multi-medalists as we know. Gold and bronze already for Louise Watkin in three from the city of Salford. Third in the 200 medley here, Claire Cashmore from the city of Leeds. Gold and silver for Natalie Massey in lane six. We've got the Paralympic champions in lane eight, in lane five. The world and Olympic medalist Louise Watkin in three. And remember, these points are allocated according to how close the swimmers get to the world record in each of these classifications. Cashmore in pole position from four. Chasing a European qualifying time of 124.37. Cashmore dragging Harriet Lee with her. Harriet Lee from mid-beds. Three one hundredths of a second separating these two at the 50 meter turn. Cashmore streaking away from the field, half a body length clear now of Harriet Lee. The battle on for third, Louise Watkin in three, Natalie Massey in six. Clearly in front though, Claire Cashmore from the city of Leeds, bronze in the 200 medley. She's a world a silver medalist in this event, the 100 breaststroke. And with five meters to go, Claire Cashmore is going to touch first in the race, stopping the clock at 121.73. Claire, congratulations. That was a great result for you. Thank you. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Like, I was hoping for a bit faster tonight, but it's still a slight bit of a PB. So. And away we go. The race within a race. There's the race within the pool and then the race against the world records of each of the qualifications. Tom Young, silver and bronze already this week. World champion, swimming in one. Also keep your eye on Daniel Pepper, double world champion in this event, the 100 breaststroke and the 200 freestyle. He's already won gold in the 200 freestyle here. Gold in the 100 fly already. David Ellis from five, the Paralympian. Fourth place in the 200 medley. Jack Bridge is up for the race. The man from Preston swimming in six. Very little in it at the 50 meter turn. Daniel Pepper just a shade behind David Ellis. You can see the classifications in two, three, four, and seven. They're all S14s, but look at this with 25 to go. A terrific race between Daniel Pepper and David Ellis. The double world champion in four being pressed from lane five by the local man from the city of Manchester. Gold in the 100 fly. Can he make it two in a row? Stroke for stroke coming into the final five, concentrating on the wall. Finishing on a full stroke, Daniel Pepper leading. Pepper strikes the wall first, a 111.53. Thomas, you've hit the qualification standards now for Berlin. You must be really pleased. Yeah, I'm really chuffed with that swim. Uh, a little bit off on the heat, but um, I managed to bring it back on the final, so I'm really happy with that. In lane three, then Lucy Worrell swimming in her fourth final. Rachel Kelly in pole position, the European junior 
champion on the 100 fly. She finished fourth this week. How is she going to go on the 50? Looking good. Jess Sylvester then from Nova Centurion. Fourth in the 100 freestyle, fifth in the 100 fly. So coming into good form. Finished seventh at the Commonwealth Games in the 100 fly. Head down now, heading into the final five meters. Very little in it. Across the board, finished with the touch going to Jess Sylvester. Away quickly, as we would expect, the Welsh record holder Owen Morgan in lane three, the 27-year-old. The favourite in lane four is Adam Brown, the 22-year-old from Hadfield, but also going well. Simon Burnett from five, but Owen Morgan making the early running. Up the first 25 in lane three. Adam Brown now beginning to impose himself from the middle of the pool. On the touch, it's Adam Brown, 22-29, finishing a shade in front of Owen Morgan's 22-67. Adam, you've qualified for Shanghai again. You must be over the moon. Yeah, to qualify for Shanghai is a great honour. To be on the British team again for another year is a great accomplishment. I'm very happy and uh, hopefully there's more to come this summer. And the 50 metres breaststroke sprint. It's all about turning your hands and your feet over quickly, but you've got to apply power to the water. You can't slip through. If you start over revving, it doesn't help you. Going strongly from four then, Catherine Johnson from Edinburgh University. Seventh in this event in the Commonwealth Games. Already imposing herself as they come with 50 meters to go. Sarah Locher from Bridge End and the British Gas Swansea ITC in five. This is the top two. Trying to make up for a poor start, Rachel Wilson, but she's running out of space. And the touch then going in semi-final number one to Katherine Johnson. 32-32 the time. Away they go, 32-32 and 32-6. The two leading times from the first of the semi-finals. Lowry Tynan. Starting with uh, imposing herself up the first 15 metres. Tyne in the Welsh record holder at 31.03. Avril Kirichenko from Leeds in five in close attendance. Danielle Lowe also there from Wirral Metrol in three. Very little in it. Two strokes to the wall and the touch goes in 32.63. Leading the way though, 103.35 for Lizzie Simmons. Gemma Spoffers, British and Commonwealth record coming off a split of 102.97. We know Simmons likes to take it out. The European champion, remember, on the 200 backstroke. Steph Brown wants to put her name in the mix for a world championship place. The time, 212.73 for the winner. Guarantees a ticket to Shanghai. 210.84 is well within the compass for anybody that finishes in second place. And look at Steph Brown, a terrific junior swimmer many years ago. And Steph Brown is dominating this race. Lizzie Simmons is left with a lot to do, Gemma Spoffer, this is going to have to come from a long way back to the front of the pack now. Steph Brown, the 22-year-old. It's been a long time coming, but no respecter of reputation. Steph Brown from lane four. It's going to be a terrific victory for Proud. Goal it is, 209.41. And a ticket to Shanghai. Steph, congratulations. She must be so excited now about going to Shanghai. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that's over. I'm so happy I've qualified. The time is probably a little bit slower, but I don't care. <laughs> he is the rock. He is the British record holder at 51.41 gold in the 200 fly already this week in pole position from four. Michael Rock then, James Doolan from the city of Salford going swell from lane three, setting the early pace, also with early speed. Anthony James, we know that. Terrific results from the 50 meters coming up to the 100. At the touch, Doolan it is, 24-60. Michael Rock in close attendance. If Doolan can hang on to this in the closing stages, it's gonna be a famous victory, but now comes Michael Rock from the middle of the pool. The winner of the 200 fly, surely no one's going to catch him now. Anthony James is the best of the rest, but Michael Rock is going to stop the clock first. It's going to be double gold for the Rock, 52-7-0. Michael Rock takes gold once again for the second time this week. Well, congratulations. I know you won the 200 earlier this week, so that means you've got the double now. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. Just very happy with that. Uh, you've just seen a very competitive event, you know, everyone 
did their bit, made it, made it hard for me, but uh, it's just about keeping the composure and just doing my best there. First semi-final underway, and keep your eyes on the far end of the pool because among the box carriers for lane four, Gemma Lowe. Back to the action, and in the middle of the pool, Amy Smith then. Silver in the 100 freestyle, and that terrific battle with Fran Halsall. Georgina Hine from three, also going strongly. This is where the action is. Amy Smith looks like she's going to take the touch. 25-75. And away we go, quickest off the blocks, then Rebecca Turner from lane two, but Francesca also the 20-year-old from Loughborough University in the British Gas Lupper ITC, already imposing herself at the halfway point. It's going to be a Francesca Halsall and Amy Smith showdown once again over the sprint freestyle, the British record holder in lane four, showing exactly why she is top of the pile. Stopping the clock on 25.88, just a shade behind the time recorded from the first semi-final. Here we are then, the world record holder, Liam Tancock, the 25-year-old from Loughborough University in the British Gas Loughborough ITC. This is why he's the world record holder. A body length clear of the field at 25 metres. A wonderful demonstration. Well, it was a wonderful demonstration of sprinting. He shut it off, easing into the wall, having done enough over half the, 20, the 50 metres to book his place into tomorrow's final. Very quick start from Helako Koka from Ealing from lane eight. They know what they've got to do if they want to make it into tomorrow's final. Going strongly then, Craig McNally, the 18 year old from Warrender in three. Very little in it between him and Luke Wood. Luke Wood from four, Scott Hathaway from five. Concentrating on the finish now. Reaching over in the final arm stroke and the touch 26 36 going to McNally. The undisputed star of British swimming right now. Coming in with 100 to go. We'll hear the bell for Rebecca Adlington. Out of interest, her world record split 7.13.24. Not a million miles away from that. And watch this for Jazz Carlin in lane three. 7.22. Her Welsh record at 8.27.88. So it looks as though she's going to be comfortably underneath her own Welsh record, Carlin in three. Got to hang on now and stay tough. Kerry Ann Payne struggling a little bit in the final stages of this 800, but she's going to be good enough for third. No doubt about the winner, though. Becky Adlington turning for home. 50 metres to go for our Olympic champion and the world record holder in the 800 freestyle. Once again, a demonstration of... 800 freestyle swimming from Adlington. Jasmine Carlin is the best of the rest, on her way to a Welsh record. As Becky Adlington now kicks for home. The world record for the record, 8.14.10. So this is a fantastic swim then, right at her best. And Becky Adlington stops the clock in 8.20.23. 8.25.67 for Jazz Carlin, sees her book a place in this event in Shanghai and a new Welsh record. Now, Becky, you really weren't taking any chances there. I know you said earlier on in the week, you're not a speed person, so you went out straight in the front there. Was that your plan? Yeah, definitely. It was to get out in front. I know that Jazz and Kerry Ann usually come back and I expected them to be a bit closer, to be honest. So it was so tough by myself and the second 400, I just couldn't hold the pace by myself. I just kind of saw that they were behind me and just kind of settled, if you like. So hopefully I can improve on that time when I go to Worlds. Brilliant. And of course, perfect record, three out of three. Will you be doing all three events in Shanghai? Yeah, I'm going to try and do it. The program's exactly the same as here. So I'm going to give all three a go and hopefully do all right. The 200s is just a bonus event for me. I'm not expecting to make a final or anything on that one. So that's just kind of a nice midweek chance to just get in and have a little splash. So what have you got to say to the crowd here this evening? Oh, just thank you so much. It's so loud tonight. It's, it's such a good night to come. And it's just been unbelievable the whole week. They've just been so supportive. They've just been absolutely brilliant. And I definitely wouldn't be able to do that without them. British Gas, proud sponsors of the British swimming teams.